All right, so, Creepy Road. I, I don't know if I know much about this, really. It was a key given to me, so... Yeah, okay, let's see, let's see what you got, game. I'm Flynn Trucker, and I'm a long haul driver. It's a pretty ordinary job, to be honest. Not much happens. Well, that was until one day, when my whole world got turned upside down. It was a usual September evening, just the same as any other. I just delivered the pickle sardines to his destination. I was on my way back to my hometown of Dustburg, where I could take a well-needed breather after a long trip and see the love of my life, my Angelina. Oh, my darling. Angelina was a panda trainer in the circus. That evening, the circus was completing its tour with a grandiose performance in our own little town. Kind of weird, the subtitles aren't matching the voice. I was only was driving Hello. from my hometown and almost felt the warmth of my sweetheart's embrace. When suddenly... Oh no, Party Bear! Party Bear, why? Party Bear, you party too hard. A psycho bear jumps out of nowhere and throws itself on my holer. As a result of a near heart attack, I... Well, I lost consciousness for a while. My holer pulled off the road and crashed straight into a billboard. When I came to my senses, I realized I'd have to get to town on foot. Hmm. Okay. Have my pistol ready. I guess I would too after I get attacked by a bear, to be fair. Oh. Is this like Metal Gear, kind of? It kind of. Okay, alright. Metal Gear, but a bit of an odd aesthetic. Sort of. Or not Metal Gear, Metal Slug. I'm stupid. Metal Slug is what I'm getting by so here. Okay. Oh. I'm alright with this. I mean, I like Metal Slug. Oh, just limited ammo, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, that, that, okay, that does hurt you, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. oh shotguns are good for getting the face break, so, uh oh. Well, I mean, it's, it's all, it lighted two ways. It said creep. It's called Creepy Road. I'm clearly not on a road. False advertising. So to be fair, these animals are kind of creepy. Oh, yeah, <laughs> the voice could be getting better. Wait a minute. Okay. I was wondering if the rabbits just passed by, but they, they actually didn't stop. Whoa. Good air type. I guess I should use a grenade. I guess I should use a grenade. I guess I should use a grenade. How the fuck do you throw these? Okay, there we go. Hmm. Oh, checkpoint. How do you throw them? Ah. Why? Okay. Also, I would like more Metal Slug games to exist. Catch my baby. 
danger. Kind of a hard section, actually. Especially for the beginning of the game. Go. Oh, I think yeah. checkpoints are fairly generous. Oh, my baby. Kind of walked in that out too. Oh. Alright, well, here's a road. He's slightly more accurate. Oh yeah, I mean everything, the aesthetic is slightly creepy, I guess you could say. Yeah, I get it. You want to kill things. The hell? Oh god. Oh god, Gatling Cow, Gatling Cow. Not the best thing. Takes a lot of shots too. So I understand the circus animals being like that's very metal sluggy too to have to kill destroy a fortress and stuff. Wow, I'm getting a lot of weapons. I understand fighting the farm animals or animals, but I'm a little confused about the uh, humans fighting back too. What's going on here? Why is everybody out of their mind? Oh, I died. And I thought I was doing well. Alright. Zombies? I suppose. Damn. The sound effects are getting a little grainy, though. There's a few too many of them. How do you switch weapons again? Right, it's that bad. I feel like maybe shotguns should be used less in that section. Probably throw my molly top too. Grenades don't seem to really have the stopping power to expect out of them. You also auto switch weapons, which seems reasonable, but it's actually a little bit frustrating. How do I switch Molotov? How do I throw a Molotov? Oh, that's how I throw a Molotov. Oh, it does kill you. Okay. Molotov's actually B. For some reason. Why is Grenade? Oh, 
This is the checkpoint. Better be, because I'm about to die again. Okay, that's wrong. Oh, okay. Beauty! Catch my baby! The game doesn't seem to have the best balancing difficulty, I would say. Metal Slug was really good about that. Even though it was a quarter munching game, I still felt like it was generally a very fair game. This game, just, I kind of feel like I can't really dodge everything. Metal Slug, you theoretically could. If you were really careful, you could actually dodge everything. Not my, it's not my fault that it's easiest to work with. They provide the shotgun way too- yeah. I mean, me- I like- it seems like everything's about the same power. I mean, the rocket launcher does a lot of damage, but if I use that immediately, I definitely- He wants- oh, he just was like, oh, I better- I bet I can kill all the clowns. Like, I guess he probably can, yes. Oh. Speaking of which, here's the second one. That's a clown, alright. I guess I'm slightly off put by this game's graphics though, because this isn't a mobile game, but it has the aesthetic of one. Which kind of bugs me a little bit. Probably should save that. Also, this game doesn't have the best sound balancing because everything's making a sound. It's this is a very noisy game, you know. It honestly, doesn't play bad. There's nothing really wrong with how it plays. It's just... It is absolutely a noisy game. Oh, it's stuck. That works. Fast shooter. They just shoot fast and play in the stand there, yes. I'm trying very intentionally to avoid picking up the uh, bur burgers yet. 
Is there a point to coming up here? Okay, those guys can just be straight up stun locked. That's nice. Well, that's certainly a point to come up here. Straight up AK. I'll take that. Oops. I guess I'll climb up this way now. I'll get out of here. Where'd you, where'd you... Noisy, noisy game. That is a true statement I think I made. Grab it in a second. Try to be economical here since I don't know how the game's difficulty is going to be for the next area and such. Alright, I meant to hop up here and grab... No, God! Don't I don't know why I'm not... Okay, maybe the curls aren't perfect, actually. That that fall... It seems like I'm just slipping for some weird reason. I'll be more careful. There. Oh, yeah. I turned them into poop. This gun turned him into poop. Is this really the level of humor we're going to be working with here? Alright, well... <laughs> Is that really what it does? I guess it's what it does. Yeah, it seems to be what it does. Oh wait. Yeah, that's what it does. Not sure what I feel about that. It has a little poop on the end of it too, so that's why, I guess. I guess, is this like an alternate path or... Yes. Oh yeah. I guess I'll just continue. It's not like I keep guns between levels, so that's an S. I guess because I didn't die. I don't know what to say about this game. Oh, it's a boss fight. What? Yeah, baby. All right, right. I oh, my oh, oh, I get it. I see. Oh, great. We got dubstep in this song. Great. My favorite. I understand what I'm supposed to do, at least. We don't we don't need the cutscene twice, thank you. I look a rush on you. Actually I'm supposed to do It's a point where you can hit him really hard. You can also hit him weakly if you want to, I guess. He's not very good at even hitting me when he does that. He's gonna hit me other times. Oh. Wait. Oh, I thought I was still dead. I thought I was dead. Alright. Unskippable cutscene at the start of a boss fight is a lot of fun. <coughs> Very fun. Oh, my baby. 
Again, the sound bouncing on this guy isn't good either. I'm not sure, like, I'm getting some unsure vibes with this game. I don't even know what he's saying. Strunky Monkey? I fucking don't know what he was saying. Okay. Takes an extra hit, good to know. Aha. Uh -huh. It's not exact jumpy bumpy, is that what he's saying? Okay. Weeks ago, okay, I'll take the story. a new performer joined the circus troupe. He was a koala named Lucky. Lucky immediately became a favorite of the public's. Everything was going well until last night. I couldn't sleep much after the show, so I went for a little midnight stroll to get some fresh air. When suddenly, I noticed a familiar silhouette in the light of the moon. It was definitely lucky. He was pouring some liquid into our smoke machines. Honestly, I didn't think the eucalyptus muncher had it in him. But boy, was I wrong. The show began, and the smoke machines were turned on. Everyone running, shouting, and screaming. The smoke was poisoned. Everyone who inhaled it immediately lost control of themselves. The cutscene and the voice actors were giving different scripts. They started to destroy like completely different scripts. Everything in their way. Oh, lucky he achieved his goal. And the lucky kidnapped Angie because damsel distress, right? Okay. Ooh. I thought that thing only happened in video games reference. Oh my god, this game. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm done. Not necessarily because this is a bad game or anything, but... I don't want to be unfair here, it's just... Something feels very phoned in with this game. I don't know, don't know really know how to explain it. Mm. It feels like a game made by a perfectly competent team. Possibly just some... Well, it's not really just a money grab game, though, either. It's, I can't really decide what to think about this game, but something about it feels off to me. Partially, it's that art style, which definitely does make me think of mobile games. It's not necessarily a bad art style. In fact, I... Down right. I honestly call it possibly even a legitimate style. It's just it's been a bit ruined by the mobile market. But more than that, it kind of there's a level of not there's a lack of polish in some areas. Like it's it's good quality uh, game design for the most part, but then there's like these elements like the, the sound balancing and how the cutscene triggers after every attempt at the boss and stuff like that, where it just kind of indicates to me that a bunch of people who really know what they're doing made a game, but they didn't really put their full effort into it. It feels like a game that was made with competency, but a lack of effort. If that makes any sense. It's a game you could play, and you could probably have some fun with it. Uh, but as far as a game where somebody actually put their heart into the project, this doesn't really feel like it has heart. And I always feel a little weird with those sort of games. Even if it's a weird heart, I always like to see some sort of passion put into a, a creative project. This one doesn't feel as phoned into some games I've played. It's certainly playable if you like the style of play gameplay, but yeah, there's something a little off about it for me. 